this is Jay Grazio with Shooting Illustrated, here with another episode in our iCarry series. Today we have an EDC kit pulled straight from the pages of our magazine, with a Wilson Combat handgun in a Palmetto Leatherworks holster and a zero tolerance knife. Let's take a closer look at this gear. From the distinct signature starburst pattern on the grip, to the X-Tac checkering on the front strap, back strap and slide, the lineage of the EDC X9S is clearly on display. This is all Wilson Combat, no question. I mean, one look at the pistol with its numerous thoughtful, upgraded components tells you this is a Bill Wilson creation, built to be utilitarian, and yet beautiful at the same time. Honestly, I was reluctant to run this pistol for I carry, not because I had any problem with it, quite the opposite in fact, but because I didn't want to fall in love with it. Oh, I know, it's spendy, there's no getting around that. Anyone can do the math and see there are less expensive options out there. But not everyone is looking for an O'Connor box when they go car shopping either. One common lament is that Wilson Combat firearms are more expensive than, say, your run-of-the-mill polymer frame handgun. Well, no kidding. However, make it a fair comparison. How does the EDC X9S stack up against other compact 1911s? You just narrowed the field significantly, didn't you? Add in upgraded components to bring the same utility as the EDC X9S, and all of a sudden, the price difference isn't as steep, is it? In any case, the EDC X9S brings 1911-style operation and an excellent trigger to a concealable, easy-to-carry handgun with 10-plus round capacity and a 15-round extended base plate spare magazine. 26 rounds ought to be plenty, especially in a pistol with the same rough dimensions as the Glock G43. Interestingly, the EDC X9S falls somewhere between the G43 and the G26. It's a tiny bit wider than the G43 and a little taller than the G26. When it comes to ease of shooting though, there's no question. The EDC X9S wins hands down. Here are some basic specs for the EDC X9S. It has a three and a quarter inch barrel, six and three quarter inch overall length, weighs 25.2 ounces empty, and has a trigger pull somewhere between three and a half and four and a half pounds. It's one and a quarter inches wide and has a five inch sight radius. It sports Wilson Combat's battle sight rear sight, complete with ledge for one hand racking and a fiber optic front sight. Yes, it's slightly larger than the Sig Sauer P365 or Springfield Armory Hellcat, but not by a wide margin. If your main concern is how the EDC X9S compares to other pistols of similar capacity, have no fear. Why should you consider the Wilson Combat EDC X9S then? Well, First off, how about because it's a great shooting pistol, as noted by Richard Mann in his review in the February 2020 issue of Shooting Illustrated. Reliable, accurate, and sized for carry are great reasons in and of themselves. If you're a 1911 enthusiast but want something smaller for carry, it's a great choice. Or maybe you're just looking for a really nice pistol to both carry and shoot. Designed in collaboration with Bill Wilson and using exotic hides in its construction, the low-profile Elite Holster has flair to match the EDC X9S. Also like the X9S, while the low-profile Elite is an attractive holster, it is also functional, with touches like an extended sweat guard to keep moisture off the X9S and pass-through belt attachment to keep the rig tight against the body. Standard low-profile Elite holsters are available through the Wilson Combat website or as custom options through Palmetto Leatherworks. Generally, outside the waistband holsters are cooler weather choices, as they require longer cover garments to conceal the barrel that is visible below the belt line. This is an area where the EDC X9S works quite well, as the shorter barrel, combined with the forward cant of the low profile holster, really doesn't leave much to conceal below the belt line. Then again, with the EDC X9S and a custom holster, you can be forgiven for wanting to show it off. Let's face it. With an eye-catching high-end pistol and holster, you're going to want a pocket knife to match. That's where the Zero Tolerance 0470 comes in. With titanium scales featuring a carbon fiber insert, this flipper-activated knife offers a ball-bearing action that pushes out a 3.4-inch CPM 20CV steel blade with a satin finish. It's incredibly light at only 3.2 ounces and really slim, so it rides nicely clipped to a pocket. It's tip up only for carry, although the pocket clip is reversible for left or right handed use. When we first got the 0470 in, it was nearly impossible to open it like a standard flipper. This had to do with the frame lock and how the lightest amount of pressure on that lock would keep the blade closed tightly. Over time, this is broken in really nicely, so it will open with no problem whatsoever, yet once open, it's rock solid. Zero tolerance knives are also made in the US and warranted for life. 
For more information on this EDC setup or for other carry combinations, visit shootingillustrated.com. And as always, stay tuned for more guns and gear on iCarry.